mortgage broker or bank? What's the best choice? Hey there, and welcome back to EpoFriend, your favorite channel dedicated to helping you find and get the right mortgage options. My name is Luca, I'm a mortgage expert, and today we're gonna break down whether you should go to a broker or to a bank directly to get your mortgage. Let's get right into it. First up, let's talk about banks. For most people, this is your go-to when it comes to getting a mortgage. The primary benefit of going with your house bank is that usually, especially if you have a long-standing relationship with them, they may have a better understanding of your financial situation and your existing financial products that will help them tailor the mortgage offered to your preferences. Also, they can usually make exceptions that brokers don't have access to. Let me give you an example. If you're self-employed, usually you need two or three years of tax returns to be able to get a mortgage. This is a standard requirement with almost 99% of banks out there. But if you have less than two years of tax returns, then usually you can't get a mortgage at all. That being said, if your financial situation is very good and your history financially is also sound, then maybe your house bank will be able to see that and give you an exception. The second advantage of getting a mortgage with your bank is that you engage with the lender directly. This makes your communication more streamlined because there are no intermediaries involved and anything the bank says goes directly to you. Lastly, another benefit of working with your bank directly is that the bank you're working with may not even be on the itinerary of choices available to your mortgage broker. Let me give you an example. In the past, as a mortgage advisor, I've had some clients who are buying a property in a different country that are bordering with Germany. Now, usually doing this is impossible unless you have an existing property in Germany that you can get a cash out loan on, but with some local banks, as long as you're buying right across the border, because they have the ability to convert the value of those foreign properties, they can still give you loans. Of course, this is a very rare use case, but in some cases, it's worth doing your research and approaching local banks in your area, especially when you have a bit more of a unique situation. Now, let's talk about the cons of moving forward with your bank. First of all, if you work with only one bank, then you're limited to the conditions and the interest rates that they have to offer. By working with only one provider, you're limiting yourself because you don't even know whether there's any other bank out there that might be able to give you better conditions. Next, it may be more difficult for you to qualify for the mortgage if you're limited to only one provider. That's because every single bank has their own criteria and the bank that you're working with may not necessarily have the criteria that matches your profile best. If you have a blue card, a temporary residency, if you're self-employed, a freelancer, or any of the above, then maybe working with only one bank is not in your interest because for special cases like that that are a little bit more complex, understanding the market as a whole and seeing which provider will be able to give you the best conditions is an essential part in getting the best interest rate. Finally, often banks have incentives to sell you high commission products. There's a few reasons why some of these are internal goals that they have to meet, but also a lot of the people working in banks have commission-based salaries, so that's a conflict of interest. An example of a product like this can be a Bausch Pavetag. I've seen a lot of these products that are really good and suitable for the clients, but some of them have upfront costs and hidden fees that are designed to maximize the commission of the person selling it and provide no benefit to the person buying it. Moving on, let's talk about the pros of getting your mortgage with a broker. The first pro is that brokers usually work with a lot more banks. That means that you have access to mortgage options that otherwise you wouldn't have considered in the first place. HepoFriend, for example, works with over 800 different partners. That means that with a click of a button, we can immediately check the conditions of all of these different options and find out which bank can give you the best conditions. The second pro of getting a mortgage with a broker directly is that we can save you a lot of time and effort. The mortgage process is quite complicated and there's a lot of nuances. To apply for a mortgage, you need to collect all the property documents, all the personal documents, make sure that there are no red flags in this paperwork that might hinder your ability to qualify for the mortgage. Having the guidance of a mortgage advisor helps you navigate the complex and bureaucratic German mortgage system, which, especially if you're an expat, is a lot of value. Pro number three, brokers work in your interest. As opposed to banks, where people, as I mentioned before, sometimes have commission-based salaries that incentivize them to sell high commission products, brokers are aware that you have the ability to work with a bank, another broker. So if we don't stay competitive, if we don't give you the right information, then we risk losing you as a trusted client. For example, when you're refinancing your mortgage, the bank is going to send you a new offer six months before your fixed interest period expires. What the bank often doesn't tell you is that they're not going to take the property value increase that your property has benefited from during your fixed interest period into consideration. 
And this is very important because as your property value goes up and your loan goes down, your loan to value decreases, which basically means you're a smaller risk for the bank and you can get better interest rates. So actually, when you're refinancing your mortgage, it's very much in your interest to speak to a broker to find out what other bank out there can give you better conditions. So that's just one of many examples where sometimes checking in with a broker just to get a second opinion can save you a lot of money in the long term. Now, let's talk a little bit about the disadvantages of working with a mortgage broker. As I mentioned earlier, when I was talking about the pros of working with a bank directly, some banks in very rare cases are not available to the platform that mortgage bro brokers work with. What that means is that if you have a very specific case and only a local branch in your area can help you solve it, a broker may not even be aware of that. The second reason why working with a mortgage broker may be disadvantageous at times is because often the processing times that banks offer to us are a little bit longer than what you would get if you go to the bank directly. Now, normally this isn't a problem because when you reserve the property you are interested in, you're given around four weeks in order to resolve the financing. Processing times on average are between five and 10 business days, which is usually more than enough time for us to close the case. But in very rare situations, you're going to be told by your real estate agent or by your seller that they're not willing to offer a reservation and that if you want to secure this property, it's first come and first serve. So you have to be quick. In those cases, sometimes the house bank can really be quicker. The last downside of working with a broker is that there's a longer line of communication. Imagine you're a kid playing broken telephone. By the time you reach the end of the line, the information that you passed on initially is completely different. Now, while we try our best to make sure this doesn't happen, and most of the time it really doesn't, sometimes communicating with the bank directly can streamline the process a little bit. I do need to refrain here a little bit because the truth is that often a broker can help you filter what information is necessary to tell the bank and what information can potentially harm your chances of qualifying for a mortgage. So kind of a pro, kind of a con, we'll keep it in the con section for now. So what is better, a bank? Or a broker well the short answer as with all things is dependence if you're looking to find out whether you can qualify for a mortgage then you can benefit from the expertise of a broker they work with all the banks they know the criteria of all the banks so if you have a complicated situation the likelihood that they can match you with a provider that can offer you a solution is much higher that being said if your situation is complicated to a point where you are ineligible for the mortgage with most of the banks in germany then your house bank might be the best bet. Why? They have a better understanding of your financial situation. And if you've been banking with them for a long time and they can see that financially your situation is quite stable, they may be able to offer you a solution that other banks can't. If your main question is, how can they get the best interest rate? Well, again, my advice would be to speak to a broker. They have access to all the banks in Germany. So as I mentioned before, Finding out which bank offers you the best conditions is just a matter of pressing a button. Because finding out which bank can give you the best interest rates is usually not that difficult for a mortgage broker, our main priority is to create the right offer for you. This is not usually something you will get from a big bank because they're usually very volume oriented and they're just trying to meet their goals a lot of the times. We use your input so that we can together structure a mortgage offer to your own preferences so that we create something that will satisfy your long-term development. Now, before we wrap this video up, I just wanted to give you a little reminder that if you are currently in the process of looking for a property or getting a mortgage, HippoFriend is also a mortgage broker. As a matter of fact, we're a little bit more than that because we built a platform that's designed to help you end to end. From your property search, with reserving the property, with creating your offers and reviewing your mortgage agreement, we cover it all. So in case you're looking for expert advice, the link is below. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for bearing with me. And if you liked what we had to share, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. It really helps. We're looking forward to seeing you next time.